What is up CJ Squad? How are you guys doing today? My name is CJ and we have an exciting video that I can't wait to open up. This is a Game Boy Advance that I have been waiting for to add to my collection. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, I found this Game Boy Advance on Facebook Marketplace originally and I love Facebook Marketplace because they literally have so many great deals and people are just trying to get rid of things and I ended up making a really nice friend along the way, showed him my collection and he was offering it for $70 with the box and inserts which is probably almost unheard of and to be honest I wasn't gonna lowball him because I knew what he had and I believe he knew what he had as well, which is why he placed it at $70, which was pretty, pretty fair. More than fair, actually, because it came with a box. And I didn't negotiate. I just said, you know what, man? Like, I'm a big Game Boy collector, and I would love to add this to my collection. Would you do $70 shipped? And he goes, just cover the shipping fee, which was nine bucks so i rounded it up to 10 so i paid 80 dollars 80 us dollars for this game boy advance and i've never owned actually a game boy advance i have an sp game boy colors and a game boy pocket if you guys haven't watched the video of my pickups for the game boy pocket go check that out in the card above but anyways this is a pretty clean box um 32-bit game not included here um, stickers don't seem to be quite intact but that's okay because we have the box it's the glacier color um, I know Matt uh, had this game system growing up with his brothers I, I believe that he had this one himself but um, I don't know if he shared it with his brothers uh, but this is pretty cool. Never own one. Look, you can hook it up to a GameCube, which is really cool, actually. And you know what's interesting is that these GameCube um, ports, if I if I have, if I can find one of those, that'd be kind of cool. Cause look, I got my Wii right here, and inside the Wii, there's actually those GameCube ports right there. So. That would kind of be cool if I could hook that up. Um, never done it before. Also never played a GameCube before either. But the back here, you got Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, Metroid, and Golden Sun. Never played any of those games. Um, so let's crack open this box and see what we get. Interesting. So that's the number that comes with the Game Boy Advance, I guess. But yeah, the the person that sold this to me online, um, I believe they were from Virginia or something like that, and he said that a bunch of people messaged him and uh, they were trying to lowball him, and uh, he kept turning down the offers. So I felt kind of bad for the dude, but also at the same time. He knew what he had, so he wasn't going to um, just give it away for 40 bucks. Um, there's this like link cable in here that he told me about, um, or like headphone jack, something like that. If you guys know what this is, let me know in the description below. This is kind of cool. Um, must hook it up to here. Phones, headphones, and then it goes into something like that. I don't really know. Um, Help a girl out, but comes with that. Um, what else we got in here? And the insert manuals and all that good stuff. But yeah, like I was saying, he knew what he had. Everybody was lowballing him, and he just refused to sell it, which good for him because you know he was just trying to get rid of it. But at the same time, people are so like, eh right nowadays especially with the whole pandemic happening and people being more nostalgic for retro collecting people are just trying to flip things real quick and make a quick buck um, it also kind of makes it harder for retro collectors like myself to find a good deal because all the prices have gone up uh, since the pandemic interesting fact too he said that his son played this system 
for about 10 minutes and uh, put it down. So that's really it. He didn't touch it. It actually came with the game. Um, it came with Rugrats Go Wild. And I actually sold that because um, I wasn't going to play that game. Um, but anyways, register your Game Boy Advance. So this is a really cool, neat little um, postage piece of paper. There you go. So you can bring it into this address. Wonder if that's still valid now. Probably not. Um, I did open this previous to this unboxing. So this sticker was right on the Game Boy itself. Um, and I didn't like it, so I peeled it off as gently as I could. And then I just stuck it to this business card. It's actually a gaming business card that I got. Um, it's actually kind of cool, but I got it at a retro gaming uh, convention. So I wanted to keep the sticker. And then in here we got sub subscribe to Nintendo Power and receive a free gift. Wonder what the free gift is. So some headphones, I guess. Very cool by Nintendo, 2001 and 2002. And then we also have a Game Boy player play Game Boy games on your TV using a Nintendo Cube. Wow, that's really cool. So, you can do that. How neat. I actually, I have this Game Boy Advance SP, this color. I used to have blue. I don't know what happened to that one as a kid, but now I have the silver one. I would like to get the AGS 101 model in like pearl or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. I really like the, the brighter lit screen. Um, so you got your Game Boy manual and then your Game Boy Advance manual. Which, funny enough, I realized that when I was doing my limited edition Game Boy Pocket video, I thought that this was a different pamphlet than... Like, yes, they are different, but I didn't think that this one belonged with the Game Boy Pocket bundle, but it did. So this is Game Boy in general, and then this is the Game Boy Advance instruction booklet. So you always get two of them. So, the more you know. Um, it's in very good condition everything's intact so that's neat have all the stuff in the plastics but the piece to resistance is the Game Boy Advance and let's check this out so the quality of this thing is pretty clean um, I know that there's a little bit of like scuff but that literally look at that it goes away just need some uh, detailed cleaning but this thing is pretty good oh look you can see my pops my Pokemon pops um, yeah this thing is pretty good not too bad in condition I don't really see any scratches maybe that one in the in the middle but it's not terrible um, and the buttons pretty tactile I always thought that the glacier one was so pretty um, you got your little rubber start and select buttons right here and your on off switch on the bottom here um, your volume button headphone jack your little bumpers I think that's kind of cool a little right and left bumpers this is like for a worm light because um, they still didn't have a backlit screen or a front lit screen on these yet which was kind of like a disappointment. I feel like Nintendo definitely could have done that with the Game Boy Advance. It looks like it was going to be, but they never integrated that um, with the Game Boy Advance. Not until the, uh, the SPs, but very clean stickers. I'll focus that in there for you guys. So very clean stickers, all intact with that. Gorgeous, you got your EGB, 001 model um, still has the battery cover which is pretty impressive because sometimes these ones are not as secure as other Game Boys and Game Boy Colors um, so I am surprised that this one is still on it to be honest I've seen a lot of these over the years have tape on them because they for whatever reason they just don't stay they're like pretty loose um, 
no corrosion, very good condition. And let's give this thing a test. So here I have my Pokemon Emerald copy. As you can tell, it's authentic with the numbers and all the uh, the shiny diamonds, or all the shiny like different little shards over here in the label, which is really neat. Um, got that at a retro expo. If you guys haven't watched that video, I definitely recommend checking that out. I met Metal Juice's rocks. That was really cool. It sounds so clean. And it's really cool in the hands, you know, like I like the separation a little bit versus the Game Boy Color where you're a little bit closer to it. Um, I did grow up on Game Boy Color, but this one is really cool. See, it would be nice if you had that backlit or frontlit um, screen because it's still kind of hard to see but at least it's in color. Um, I know it's kind of hard to tell that it's in color but it is. So I just barely started my journey on this game but now I have all of the um, Game Boy Color and Advance Pokemon games from Gens 1, 2, and 3. I stopped at Emerald because that's as far as I go, but this is actually really cool and very nostalgic for me. So, uh, 10 out of 10 on the purchase for sure. Very happy that I met um, a nice friend now in the collecting community. Um, here's my little stand for that. So that looks really neat. And this is kind of my unboxing. My review of the Game Boy Advance was a great experience, great price, couldn't have asked for more, met a nice friend. Um, it'll look great in my collection, so I'll show you guys what that looks like with all of them together. Okay, you guys, now here is the setup for all of my Game Boys, Game Boy Colors, Game Boy Pocket, um, Game Boy Advance, SP, Game & Watch. This is the whole gaming system section of my entire Pokemon bus display. Um, it's getting pretty cool, but let's check this out. So we got all the boxes up here. It's getting a little tight, so I can't really display the purple one like I want. Um, and then I had to squish the Game Boy Pocket box a little bit more so we could fit the Game Boy Advance one. Um, that's its new home next to the Game & Watch back there. And then this is kind of like the whole setup that we have, as you can see. So I do have a few cool facts that I did want to talk about before I ended this video. Um, so about the Game Boy Advance is that it is the sixth generation of the handheld system for Nintendo. It was released in 2001 to 2010 for about $99.99. So that's $100 US dollars. Um, about 81.51 million of these units were sold as of June 30th, 2010. Um, the pixel display is 240 by 160 and it takes two AA batteries. And the best selling game for this system was Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, which sold around 16 million copies, which was insane. Um, it also has backwards compatibility with Game Boy and Game Boy Color games, so you didn't have to uh, worry about not being able to play all your games. Um, here is the Pokemon Ruby, and here's the Pokemon Sapphire. Uh, we have all the games here, all authentic, which I'm very proud of. And a really cool accessory I wanted to talk about that was released for this Game Boy Advance system specifically was the wireless adapter, which was released in 2004 to replace link cables. Um, so I do have original link cables over here. So these ones I would use for my Game Boy Color, but I can also use for, I think, Game Boy Advance as well. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I know this worm light doesn't work for the Game Boy Advance because there is a specific one for that. It's got like a different um, 
little uh, plug for that. Um, but it retailed for 20 US dollars and fewer than 20 games supported this hardware. But these wireless adapters came with Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then we got Leaf Green right here and we got Fire Red right here. So those are a few facts about the Game Boy Advance. Shout out to Brian for selling me this system. Very clean. And thank you very much for letting me add this to my collection. I'm very proud of this. This is probably my favorite section of the entire Pokemon bus display. Um, it's hard to choose favorites. I know I got a bunch of Pokemon cards over there and whatnot, um, but it's coming together really nicely and I'm really enjoying it. We only need the grape Game Boy Color to complete our basic color sets. Um, so we're well on our way, you guys. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.